Hi. In version 1.92 of Proform, one of the features we released was lists. Lists can be used to group items together like trainers or horses and negates the need to run multiple systems, i.e. one for each trainer. So let's open the system builder and then you can open the build lists function from the sidebar menu or if you have this menu closed you can open it from the features menu at the top. So let's have a look at the build list screen. It has a tick button to stay on top. If you untick this then it will be hidden behind the Proform screen. Like so. And to bring it back you need to click Features and Build List again. If you have it stay on top, then you can navigate the System Builder without it disappearing. You can hide it very quickly if you don't want it on screen with the Quick Hide button. And bring it back again using the Features Build List option. The Build List screen contains three lists that you can keep control of while you're in the System Builder. And to activate the one you want to use, you click on 1, 2 or 3. Let's add something to the list now. Let's just quickly use the System Builder to pull up a list of trainers records in the last 50 days. So we enter 50 in the days and present by trainer. You can add to the active build list by right clicking on a trainer name and change to a different build list by clicking on the buttons and right clicking again. You can clear lists with the buttons at the bottom and if you want to add in a group of trainers then you can shift and right click on a trainer name and it'll add in from AJ Martin to Amanda Pirrett. Or if we right click and shift on Anthony Mullins we've added everything from AJ Martin to Anthony Mullins to list free. He always adds from the top to the shifted right click further down. And the reason for this is so you could sort by the best trainers on a particular metric, so in this case wax, and you might just want to add in the ones with a wax of over one. So you shift and right click on Kim Bailey and you have the best trainers with the best waxes in list three. If we switch to list two and reverse the wax you might want to add in the worst ones. Same could apply to sorting by PRB. Our number of winners, we switch to list one. And we just want the top two. Or the ones with five or more. You can quickly build a list of trainers or whatever you're working on, horses, sires, dams, into each of the build list areas. Let's say we now want to transfer this list of trainers in the number one area and create a system from them. Very simply, we click on clipboard one and you can see when you click it, a little message pops up for a second. We then go to the horse tab and in the trainer name we just right click and choose paste. And you can see it's transferred our build list into the trainer name field and split them by tildes. And this is how the lists work. So you could type the trainers in and put the tildes in yourself. 
but using the build list function lets you do it very quickly. If we run this system now, it only returns the seven trainers we added to the list. Let's just clear these boxes out again. If you want to edit a list that you've got within a system already, you just go to the field that's got the list in and double click and it transfers the list from the trainer names field back into one of the build list areas. So you could edit this now by single left clicking on trainer names in the list one build area to remove them. Click on clipboard one again. Go back to the trainer name field. Select it all and get rid of it. And then paste back in your new edited list. Run that system again and we just have the four trainers. So we'd created a list of trainers we wanted to see in our system. You can actually do not in list. And to do not in list, all you do is at the beginning of the list in the field, you add in two exclamation marks. If we run this system now, it will bring up all the rest of the trainers apart from the four that are in our list. If we take that back out again and run it again, you can see we've just got the ones that are in the list again. You can also use wildcards. So if you wanted any trainer with Gordon at the beginning, you can type Gordon and put a star in, run the system and we get anything that starts with the word Gordon. And if you split by a tilde, you could also do any three characters. So we've got anything that add M-U-R in the name plus the Gordons. Or we could do not any of them. There are two more ways you can add to the build list field. From the trainer search, you can tick add to list. And once you've searched for some trainers, you can then just single left click them and add your search results to one of your build lists. And the same would apply if we switch a list to and we're searching for horses. We can find horses and quickly add them to a build list. And then of course you can clipboard two and paste your list into the horse name field. One final way to add items to the build list is from the clipboard. So you might have a list of horses and in this case I've got a list of the Cheltenham bumper runners from this year. You can press Ctrl A in your list in notepad this is. Ctrl C to copy it to clipboard or right click and click copy and then in the build list if you just right click inside one of the boxes a message appears asking if you want to paste a list from the clipboard. Say yes and they're pasted into this build list one. If we reset the system variables, clipboard these, paste them into the horse name field. We now have a system which is just a list of the horses that ran in the Cheltenham Bumper 2020. We run this system, we can see that group of horses have run 78 times and had 30 wins. We could set a date of 1st of April 2020 and when we run this we'll return nothing. 
But now what that will do is, every time an horse that runs from the bumper at the 2020 Cheltenham Festival, if we save this system, it'll show on the welcome screen so we can track the runners from that race. You might have a list of horses that you follow from somewhere else. You can put them into a notepad document, quickly copy them to the clipboard, and add them to a build list. So let's quickly recap. We start with our last 50 days and this time horses that ran in the last 50 days just to get us a list of horses. If you want to add to a build list you choose your list one two or three and right click to add to the list or shift and right click to add from the top to the point you click on. If you want to add to a second list choose two or three and right click to add them in. If you want to add these to a field that can be used for lists which are by the way all in purple click on the clipboard button above the list you want to use right click and paste them in to the field you want to use. If you want to edit a list you have in a field you double click in that field and it populates the build list that you have active. If you want to remove from a build list you just left click. If you want to copy from a clipboard you copy your list to clipboard from an external source right click on the list you want to add it to and choose yes. If you want to do not in list you add two exclamation marks at the front and if you want to do wild cards you use a star. You can use lists on the horse jockey trainer and owner name in the horse tab. The last time out jockey and trainer name in the last time out horse tab. The race name in the race tab. And the sire, dam and dam sire in the breeding tab. Well that's the end of the first list video. I'm going to add some more videos for lists with some examples of how to build them up uh, for, for Pacific systems and some very creative ways to use them.